Hey there, besties. We gonna take a look at this article from The Root, put together by the Negroes. They coming for Gabby, child. How you gonna be coming for Gabby? Shout out to Gabrielle Union, who tried to keep it real with her natural hair, but the internet came for her, because that's all the internet knows how to do, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Now, we watching this together. We, we gonna read this together, y'all, but I'm pretty sure it's the sister. Sis. You know the sisters from the sisterhood that just love their sisters and black women. But let's take a look. It says the star shared her natural hair on Instagram and got mixed reactions. Actress Gabrielle Union got folks talking after she posted a video on Instagram last week promoting her flawless by Gabrielle Union line of hair products. Oh, Gabby is venturing out into another business. Shout out to her for that, okay? Braids are out. Pre poo. Oh, yeah. That's how much you can tell it grew because you can see all the grays. <laughs> Welcome to old age, kids. Okay, yeah. look at your curls. Hey, girl. Are back. Yes. Oh, she's growing right up. Yeah. Shout out to Kavia James. Oh, it's the slip from me. Oh, that bad news. Do you see? Mm-hmm. Five butter miracle mouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Like, like that robe. Yeah, give me one of those. The damn sample because my family done stole. <laughs> Okay, so she's basically advertising her product. She's using her own hair, her own stuff, and what could be wrong with that? Gabrielle Union is showing what the hell, whatever the hell it is that she's selling does for her and her hair to try to get people to buy it. Like any other person that be out here on this daggone Instagram talking about what they got, what they selling, where you can get it from, link in my bio and all that other foolishness. Okay, cool. In the clip, Union starts with her hair after taking out braids. Listen, clearly, clearly, I'm just saying, her hair is a lot shorter, her natural hair, than what her weaves and wigs do. Clearly, okay? She's so, shown going through the three-step blah, blah, blah. There's an adorable time with Kavya James. Shout out to Kavya James. Um, some offered encouraging words. Glad to see the Bring It On actress showing off her hair in its natural state, grays and all. That is actually awesome of you, Gabrielle Union, to do that, even if they won't give you your props for doing so. Okay? Love your natural hair, and you have the same struggles as non-celebrities. Thanks for sharing and being real, wrote a user. No filter, no makeup, still gorgeous. I'm grateful you at least have grays. I'm nine years younger than you, and you look 20 years younger than me, wrote another. Okay? There you go. What, why does it have to be anything but that? It is a big deal for Gabrielle Union to come out here and not only show her natural air, hair, and she do have edges. Shout out to Gabby, because I know a lot of people be talking about stuff like that, right? And she's showing her gray hair. Body is still tight and right, all right? Mm, take it or leave it, but ain't nothing wrong with Gabrielle's body, right? Mm, what is this mosquito bite anyway but the internet wouldn't be the internet without at least a few negative comments and folks did not waste time coming for the condition of um union's natural hair calling it dry and unhealthy because where would we be with the internet if negroes didn't come through and give her a hard time now miss me with the you don't know that it was negroes oh but we do because negroes go negro no matter what some even suggesting that seeing her hair made them want to steer clear of anything in the flawless line. Oh, okay. Way to support your sis. I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. So listen, who would use a hair product like this? Pretty sure it's not a man. Pretty sure it ain't black men. Pretty sure it ain't white men. So that only leaves women. Oh, women's. Okay. Now, how dare a white person come through and say they would use it because they would have a fit about that. They just did that a few months ago. So we already know who it is, the TBBs, right? One user wrote, Gabby's hair does not look healthy. And if that, if that is indicative of her products, then she can miss me. 
And then they said this video doesn't exactly make me want to rush and buy those products. The negative comments sparked a heated social media debate with fans coming to her defense. One user suggesting the condition of Union's hair could be due to menopause as hormonal fluctuations can change the texture of a woman's hair. For those of you who don't get it, she's 50 and probably going through menopause. Her hair is going to take a beating during this time. I don't care what product she uses, how much money she has or about her doing the big chop until the body completes its life cycle. The hair is going to be different in a challenge. Some of you younger women should take note. Your time is coming if you're lucky. Well, shout out to that user, right? Because everybody, for some reason, women think that they're going to be the way they look forever. And that's why doing the things that they do that hold no benefit for future is a detriment. But, you know, they don't want to listen. So we will just watch and wait. OK, but just because Gabrielle is 50 doesn't mean that she is going through menopause. Maybe it is the fact that she just this is just what her hair looks like. I mean, she is showing the gray and all shout out to her. And then maybe it's just because it's under the wigs and the weaves. And that's just what it is. And that's what it looks like. Everyone's hair does not look like, I don't even know who has the healthiest hair because I don't even know anyone who has their hair out. Everyone's hair does not look the same. Like as black women, I thought we knew that. As the sisses always talking about hair and hair products and natural hair and what the hair look like and the edges and the protection of hair and this, that, and the third. To be so ignorant to think that everyone's hair should look the same is, is crazy, of course, because what would they be without being crazy and about without being negative and without taking another black woman down? What has Gabrielle Union done to any of these people for them to come through and act like there's something wrong with her hair? Notice they ain't say nothing about that body, though. Ain't nobody got nothing to say with that body. I tell you what, don't act like if it was a problem with any part of that body that they wouldn't have come for her as well. Others just wanted to shut the haters down. Anyone wearing a full weave in their profile pic cannot offer her advice. Oh, that's a good one. I think we can all agree that Union is far from red carpet ready in her video. But as a woman with more than a few gray hairs who is knocking on the door of menopause, I give her plenty of props for being this vulnerable in front of her over 21 million Instagram followers. Out of all the comments, this one sums it up best for me. I came to the comments to say how much I love the video and her transparency and got hit in the face with all this ugliness. It really is sad. I'm loving her for being so real. Most celebrities wouldn't dare let you see them without all their bells and whistles that make them so attractive. I'm loving this and I'm here for it. Shout out to that user. Shout out to whoever made that comment because I would agree. I would absolutely agree. And then these be the same biatches as soon as someone says that black women are negative. Oh, my God, that's racist. <laughs> be so negative and nasty at all times, specifically to your own, specifically to your own. But then you be the first person to go out here and talk about somebody else if they say something negative to somebody, knowing daggone well that you're doing the same daggone crap. But my point in all this is just to say that there is no sisterhood. Again, if the cult ain't going along with the cult, you on the outside and you vulnerable to the attacks. Okay? Gabrielle Union included. No, no, no support. I don't see nobody. I don't see none of you Negroes taking this type of stance when Gucci come out here with some racist looking shirt or something crazy that they do or Louis Vuitton or whoever the hell else that be doing this crazy stuff that actually looks like it could be racist. Don't stop you from buying their crap. Don't stop you from doing nothing. Their stock prices prices don't go down. This is why black people ain't never going to have nothing and own nothing, be in charge of much because of the fact that they always going to find something wrong, talk mad sugar, honey, iced tea, and then go on and go buy the white people's stuff. That's how it goes. That's how it is. I don't know if it's enslavement. I don't know if it's foolishness. I think for show for show is half damn craziness. Specifically black women. Yeah, I said it. I'm a black woman. Shout out to YouTube. Because this don't make no sense. Except it does because it's the internet. And it's black women. You, It is what it is. You portray what you portray. All the damn time. It never changes. And for what? And for what? Good luck to Gabrielle Union. And her hair venture. Whatever that means for her. 
and whatever it is that mm, you, this product is, I don't know nothing about it. Good luck to her for that. Continue to live your life, do your 50-50, continue to work, continue to create generational wealth, true generational wealth for your kids, y'all's kids, however you divide it up. Keep doing your thing, Gabby, whatever that means, and continue to live your life happily. If these people want to sit around here and continue to be negative and nasty, just allow them to be what they're going to be because it ain't going to change. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you, you not going to tell me. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you. You heard what I said? Cause I'm a tell you, you're not going to tell me. I'm a tell you.